In this video, we're going to look at some new features in Freeform 2013 having to do with lining up and registering fragmented scan data or fragmented mesh data. To do this, I've prepared two examples. The first is this claw and ball scan I have here. When I first brought in the scan, it looked like this. So in order to move it into position, I'm going to go over to the Select and Move Clay tools and then choose reposition. With reposition I can turn off the move only and be able to rotate it into place. But now available on our Dynabar I have align width and I simply click on align width and choose mesh one and it's going to yield the best fit. Like so. Now in order to get the best fit, we have to line it up first. So if my two pieces are like this and I go align with mesh one, then the alignment doesn't take place. But if I bring them up so that they're very close to what I want and choose align with mesh one, it's going to give me a very exact fit, like so. Let's look at another example. In this example, I'll be dealing with these incomplete skull scans, but you can see there's a lot of overlapping data. So I'll go to the reposition tool again, and I'll start to reposition the skull so it has overlap with the incomplete data. I can hold shift to hone in on the exact position. And I also want to point out that I can go to the object list and choose the list, align with, and choose fragment skull A. So it is available in both locations. These new features of the reposition tool are available in Geomagic's Freeform 2013 release.